Hello, my name is Josh Hunter. I'm a senior technical specialist here at ATG USA on our reality capture team. Just wanted to take a couple minutes today to show you uh, how to bring in a project from your iPad uh, while you're in the field using a BLK360 from Leica. So let's get started. All right, for, so first and foremost, you're looking at uh, Cyclone Register 360. Um, if you have just a BLK360, then it's gonna look very similar. You're going to have the, oh, give me a second here. We're going to I'll show you here. All right, so you'll have just the register, uh, Cyclone Register 360 uh, BLK edition, and it looks just the same here. Bring that up. Give it just a moment here. All right, so what I'm gonna show you is first you wanna start a new project. Uh, well, this one we'll call it test, hit okay. All right, so in order to bring in your registered BLK360 scans from the actual iPad, you first and foremost wanna make sure that your computer is on the same Wi-Fi connection as your tablet. They have to be on the same connection here. So in this case, you'll see that this was on Hunter 5. And then in a minute here, when I get over to the iPad, you'll see that it's on the exact same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to this little drop down. In this case, we're gonna go to Field 360. And it's gonna bring up this screen right here. So next, let me stop sharing. And I'm actually gonna go to the iPad here. Let me share the content from my iPad. Give it just a moment here. All right, as you can see here, so sharing the screen here, we're gonna go to our Cyclone Field 360 application. And here I just did a couple of quick little scans here. Um, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna back out of this job. So yes, we're gonna exit the job. As you can see, I have multiple, a multitude of jobs on this on this um, iPad. But in this case, we're going to go in the upper left, uh, upper right hand corner where you see the little I. We're actually going to click on the I. It's going to bring down a drop down. We're going to go to Sync Server. Now, again, just to reiterate, let's go back to the Wi-Fi. See how it says Hunter Five on Wi-Fi. I'm on the exact same Wi-Fi here. Go back to here. Hit that little I. It brings you down to the drop down, and we're going to go to Sync Server. Now, as you see, it gives you this 192.168.0.197. Now, let me quickly stop share from here. Playing a little ring around the rosy here. All right, so now we'll go back here. This is where we're going to put that information right here. So, what does it say in there? So we're gonna do 192.168.0.197. And it's gonna be 8080 there. So we're gonna to go to test connection, successfully connected. And now we're gonna to go to add a project. Give it just a moment here to load all the projects. In this case on the iPad, I only have that one BLK360 project. The rest of them are actually gonna be from a different scanner from Leica, the RTC360. Uh, so the nice thing is it'll automatically bring in just the BLK360 project. So if I had multiple here, they would all show up here on the left-hand side. Um, you can do the drop down. It'll show you how many bundles. Uh, you can actually go a little, Let's move this over a little bit. Um, it'll give you a little bit more information. I'll show you some pictures and whatnot. But uh, in this case, we only have the one. So we're gonna just automatically select that. Uh, now, just a heads up, if you have multiple uh, jobs on here, so say you have 10 jobs, they're all going to automatically be selected. So if you're not paying attention, you just go ahead and go to import. You're gonna be dropping in all sorts of jobs into one and it's gonna take quite a bit. So make sure that you unselect that and then just go to the job that you want, select it. And then this is where we're gonna come over here. In this case, I didn't use any targets. Uh, so we can turn that off. And in this case, we also don't need to do auto clad because I've already registered these together in the field using the field 360 application. So we're gonna to go to pre-registered. Uh, in this case, I didn't do images, but if you did do images, um, just go ahead and leave that checked so that you can import the images. If for whatever reason you just need to work from the point cloud and kind of speed this up, you can uncheck this and you can always bring in the images after the fact. Um, and then the next uh, 
uh, option here is filter points by distance. In this case, since I was using the BLK 360 and I was in a small room, I don't need to worry about filtering any type of uh, points or anything like that. So I won't mess with that. So uh, once I'm done, I'm gonna go right here to import and then it's off and running. And it's that simple. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here uh, at ATG USA. We do a lot of great things as far as the reality capture space for you. Uh, we'll do trainings. We can sell you the hardware. And we can also come out and do the jobs for you. So uh, thank you for your time. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey there. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.